Welcome to the club. Today we are ranking every Mikel Arteta signing whilst Whoa. he's been at Arsenal. This is a huge challenge because a lot of mixed signings. Did you a lot realize? Of did anyone else realize there's so many names? So many. He spent a lot of money. You forget it, he's been there that long. It feels like quite a short stay. He's been there a long time. He's spent a lot of money. People say <sighs> that he's doing well, but it's only one final, isn't it? One trophy to show for it. And that was with the team that the he kind of inherited, inherited at the time, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Aubameyang. And it was a long time ago now. Mm. It, was a, it was a long time ago. Mm. And yeah, I think Bouvi just had said it there, Aubameyang. That was a, the player that won him that trophy. Aubameyang totally destroyed us that day. Like the footage of, of what Aubameyang did to Kurt Zuma was like painful. He fell out with him. Mm. So I think fairly soon, all of these signings, they're going to have to come to something, aren't they? Yeah, mm. yeah, 100%. We're going to rank these video, uh, the, we're going to rank these transfer signings from big fat mistake at the bottom, jury's out, does the job, and perfect signing at the top. Boovy, where are we starting, brother? Pa Pablo Mari, Brazilian centre back. Um, I thought I'd say it's a light mistake. It didn't work out, it didn't really provide much cover, it wasn't quite good enough for the league, for the speed of the league. Not a bad player by any stretch of imagination, but not good enough for Arsenal. No, I, th I think you're, I think you're right. He's not, you know, it's, it didn't work out. Same with Ced Cedric Suarez. I think there's a few that you can kind of look at when you think about how many he signed, and you can immediately sort of go, didn't work out. Yeah. And Pablo Mari, Cedric Suarez, Danny Sabios, I would put within that that bracket. Yeah. What about William? <laughs> I think William didn't work out, but. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't. You know, you look at how he's still playing for Fulham and doing a job Done in the very, Premier League. Very well, yeah. And for one reason or another, and I don't know why, it didn't work for him at Arsenal. I don't think the fans ever really took to him, but he did do them a favour, didn't he? He left his contract early. He didn't sit it out. Very charitable for yeah. a footballer. When, when have we ever heard about, you know, players leaving money away on the table? Mm. So fair enough to him, but I think it was a mistake. I it was a it was free a... signing though, wasn't it, William? It was, but it was a fortune in terms of wages. It was wages. very Kia Jurabchian pulling the strings but it was they didn't put a huge outlay immediately on no. that in terms of like if, if you put a 50 60 million on that then you start to look at it a little bit different don't you yeah at the time it just felt like someone's come in provide a bit of experience and then it, it didn't go to plan he was getting a lot of grief weren't he yeah they didn't, yeah, like, they didn't it. like it they, they, I think coming from Chelsea as well there's a few that Arsenal have made from Chelsea Peter Cech and a few others David Luiz <laughs> It's not always the best sign from Chelsea. It looks like a, you're getting the offcuts a little bit. David Luiz was very much part of that transfer as well, wasn't it? It was like William, David Luiz, Kia Jurabchian, the three of those. You know, you know, it was it was so odd. You know, in terms of like looking beyond football, looking at like why these transfers happen, it was such a weird one for me because Kia Jurabchian, William, and David Luiz all had like a business interest. There's a restaurant in Mayfair. There was a restaurant in Mayfair, and like one of the most like prime retail uh, streets in the whole of London called Babo. Those three had a restaurant together. Jurabchin, William, David Luiz. Mm. All of a sudden, Jurabchin has pulled out this brilliant transfer for the two players in terms of the amount of money that they were going to make. Pulled out a bag. Like that to me, it just looked, it just looked so, do I'm not suggesting it was dodgy. I don't, I don't know enough no. about it. But it was like, the three of us are all in business together. Suddenly, one of us goes to the other two. I can get you this massive move. You're going to earn three hundred fifty. Especially in London, staying in London next to the business and all yeah. that. Yeah, it just felt so so weird. But no, so I where would you rank this, William? It was a mistake. I mean, it was a, it was a disaster, really, wasn't it? Mm. He's it rubbish. It He's didn't rubbish. work. Yeah, it yeah. didn't work. It was an, it was one of one of many mistakes that I think Mikel Arteta has made in the transfer market. Up there with. I don't know, Nuno Tavares, Sammy Lokonga. There's a lot to get through. There's a lot of players that you would yeah. forget that he's signed. Well, like Gabriel, more of a positive one. A for very me. positive. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is as good as it can get. I think it's right up there. The money wasn't too bad. And also, it's a bit like, you know, Canati at Liverpool. We talk about Van Dijk being the best centre-back. There's a world he's the best, you know, defender at mm. the club, really. Saliba's fantastic, but Gabriel's a great defender. Great yeah. centre-back. No, Gab Gabriel is, is the perfect signing. You know, if you kind of rank them, if you were to go one, one extreme to the other... Mm. Gabriel is most certainly in the bracket of success stories. He is most definitely in the success story bracket. It's so a signing that's improved as well. I think there was a time when he was looked at maybe one of the the you know some of that could be approved upon, some of it could be replaced in the. Mm. Um, and particularly this season, the amount of goals he's scoring as well as providing a threat for them, and he has got better as time has yeah. gone on. Um, which is what you want to see from your signings. Do you know what is interesting though? You know when you look at the amount of signings that Arteta has made. You, you, you're going to throw you're going to throw Matt Turner into this. Fabio Vieira, I think, has been atrocious. For you know, for every Declan Rice, it feels like there's there's three or four, four. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Fabio Vieiras. Yeah. 
hasn't he made a lot of signings? Yeah, he's, he's had a lot of backing. A, a lot of backing. Of backing. Yeah. And a lot haven't worked. Like, he's not exactly a mastermind of the transfer market. You know, there are a lot that have worked. But I'm just so surprised when you see the, the collated list like this. A lot of, the, a lot of them, we, there's not a kind of pattern. You know, with Guardiola, we can criticise Guardiola with kind of the, the money outlay and stuff. With Arteta, there's a lack of identity. At least Guardiola kind of, even Jurgen Klopp, he signs McAllister, Sabozlai, they all fit in a mould very, very quickly. A lot of these, you think, you know, Jorginho, for example, coming in. Then a, a Tomiyasu, mm. you know, Ben White from the... We're, we're flying through mixture. them very quickly. No, no, we'll, we'll, we'll address <laughs> no, them. No, but I'm just saying, across the list, there's a wide range of signings. There's kind of mm. a lack of correlation to them. Mm. If you look across the list... I would say, do you know a player that actually, where do you two rank? Because I, I would rank him in the top tier, but it isn't working out. Thomas Partey. How do you feel about Thomas Partey? I think it's been a success. I think he's yeah. a brilliant player. Yeah, what a player. I agree. I think, mm. look, I think as a player, he's absolutely fantastic. But he's been injured a lot and he's also got off-field things hanging over his head. And therefore, he hasn't been in a team all of this year. Mm. And whether he's been unable to be selected or injured. So whilst I think... You know, if you look at him as a talent and when he's playing and he's on the pitch, without doubt, you know, he's one of the best players in his position in the league. He's phenomenal. And I think they've missed him a lot this season. But those things do exist with him. Mm. You know, the injury issues, mm. the off-the-pitch stuff and the doubts about whether he's going to be available. Next. So He got them back in the Champions League, though. And he, I think he, he got them to the title race. Mm. I think they made I, big mistakes in, you know, in the back end of last season. But mm. Partey was the, the best of Arsenal last season when they came second. Was, was all Partey, really. Oh, yeah. And people will flag that, you know, towards the end of the season when it went a little bit wrong for Partey's form. People will flag that. It was all based the... off that clip of him having the shot when he shouldn't have, innit? Kind we of. tried to flick it over Declan Rice's head at the Olympic Definitely. Stadium. And it was like, yeah. But, yeah. but what are you doing? But the reason that they were in that situation, for 90%, for 90% of the of the season, he was outrageously good. Yeah. You know? And he had Rob holding behind him when Saliba got injured. If Saliba yeah. stays fit, that kind of connection between Partey, Saliba, Gabriel, you know, I think they've missed him this season. They've, they've been worse this season. And guess what? He's not been playing. Yeah. I so uh, I think he's a, a genius I think they finding. played him as well. I think if you could look at a reason why it went wrong for them last season, you know, looking beyond the obvious, beyond Saka missing a penalty or whatever. I think Arteta's over-reliance and over-commitment to playing Thomas Partey is part of the reason. He does that, that with a lot of his players though, doesn't he? He Every commits card. to them. Yeah. He, he it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. It's like... certainly the case with Saka and Martinelli. Mm. He's throwing them in the deep end. You know, they're, they're, they're kids, man. Mm. They're kids. And we obviously we don't judge them like kids because they played a lot of football. But you know this blip that they've been on this season? That always is going to happen to a player that age. And the fact that there's no cover for them and the fact that there's, the fact that there's such a reliance on them is, is arguably at least poor management. Mm. But I would put, I would put for the definitive uh, conversation around Thomas Partey, I'd put him in the top tier of this conversation. Easily, mate. He's up there with Gabriel for me. I think he's a fantastic player. He just can't, just can't get in the team for one reason or another. Yeah, Adam, I think you you're a little bit more conservative in this. You you, you don't put him in the top tier. No, no, no. I oh, do. You do. I do. I I think Thomas Partey is a magnificent player. Mm. I just feel like. You have to kind of take those things into the equation, don't you? Mm. I'll tell you, he hasn't been one. available all season. All right, let's move on to Danny Ceballos, obviously on loan from Real Madrid. I think he had he had spells where he looked decent, but obviously it didn't really work out, did it? You're I wouldn't a kind say, of man. It's difficult though. You you don't go big. It was a mistake at the time, but you don't go big mistake because it was on loan. You no, know what I mean? Not like, a big fat mistake, but a big mistake. It's a mistake. Mm. A semi big mistake. If if we are all living the dream here and we all get the opportunity to put an Arsenal player into the bottom rung. I'm going to go with this straight away. Can I run with it? Yeah. Go for it. Fabio Vieira. Absolute waste, man. Have I used that right? Yeah. Uh, absolutely useless. useless. And what about the sooner Danny he gets out of the club. Uh, Danny Sabayas, obviously bottom tier. Anyone that you immediately want to put in? Nuno uh, Tavares, after I've seen what he was doing with those dogs, he's going in the bottom tier. Martin Erdegaard, I think, is, I think we'll all agree. I think without doubt, he's Arteta's best signing. When I mean, you look at value for money, the, the 35 million, I think it was, the quality of player that they've signed, the fact that he's been there for a few seasons, kind of building up with them. Um, you're looking at like a captain, you know, in Martin Erdegaard. I think he's unreal. He definitely goes in the top top bins. Yeah. I, yeah. 35 yeah. million. What a biggest bargain in the Great Premier value. Right now. What Do you know value? what I mean? Like when you look at 30 million. When you look at how they've now. spent some money as well, when you think about how much they spent on even for somebody like Fabio Vieira, mm. it's, it's yeah. excellent. It's excellent value. I think Erdegaard's their best player. He is not, in my opinion, their best player, but he is most certainly one of... He, what he possesses is that unique, rare quality that not many players in the Premier League have. You know, the ability to play a pass that most footballers can't even see. 
Yeah. Like he he will play a, an assist that, for example, Scott McTominay wouldn't know was an option. Mm. He will play an assist, for example, in fact, far better players than that. You know the way Cesc Fabregas could do it or Christian Eriksen could do it in his prime. They will play that pass that everyone in the stadium thinks it's a bad ball and suddenly it's a goal. He is yeah. that kind of player. And in the Premier League, there's so few and far between. I think Bernardo Silva has that quality. I think Kevin De Bruyne obviously has that quality. I think Bruno Fernandes has that quality. And then you're sort of running out of play. You know that totally unpredictable mm, pass? Madison, Palmer, you know maybe. that pass around the corner that yeah. nobody sees? Yeah. I, th- I think yeah. he's yeah. exceptional. Edegaard's different grade. I want to yeah. see more from him. That's how good I think he is. Yeah, I want to see more from that, him. That's an interesting angle. Yeah. I, think, I think there's something in that, you know. Uh, Don't but you I, think he's been I, hampered by the fact that the wingers and strikers have been misfiring? He goes missing in too many big games when he's fully fit. The, the side of firing, he goes missing in big six games, away from home in particular. When the pressure's on, he doesn't do enough in that role, in my opinion. Because I always think he's, <laughs> you know, when you, what you say, you kind of look at it and go, this is what Boovie said, spot on. But sometimes I feel like he's actually making the chances and making, but they're just not getting taken in some of those big games as well. Yeah, yeah, maybe, sure. maybe he would benefit, you know, if there was obviously an Ian Wright type Arsenal player now who was just pinging them in. Obviously, Martin Odegaard would have more assists, have more numbers and create have created more goals and probably scored more goals as well. Um <laughs> But overall, he is undoubtedly. Great I think sign. I think you're Different right. Grade. You could say it is, it is Arsenal's best signing of the past decade. Yeah. Since since have they made a better Alexis signing? Sanchez, 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 Sanchez maybe Ozil. 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 I mean, well, I think it, yeah, it, it, none of them took them to a title challenge really. I know no, that nah, Alexis yeah. Sanchez should have. Less and year, Alexis Sanchez sh- won FA Cups as there was, well. There was a Fancy a li- wait, no 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 no. There was a year that they were going to win the league because we stopped them. There was we, you know the year that we were terrible. We beat them one nil away from home. Diego well, Costa scored. Yeah, Diego Costa scored yeah, yeah. to stop them winning the league. Petr Cech was in goal for them. Mm. So, so there has been moments. But yeah, I think Odegaard definitely the best player since Sanchez. Definitely, uh, Lukonga. I mean, we don't have to really sit around too much on this one. I mean, um, it's bottom tier, isn't it? There's enough. There's not good enough. Yeah, bottom tier. Ben White. He's been used in two positions: centre back, right back. Well, he's uh, fifty million pounds at the sorry. time. That was deemed quite high. Yeah, I was going to say, sorry, yeah, it was literally the same narrative as John Stones. Like, it's kind of ball playing centre back, you know, kind of came from lower league football, obviously, had a spell at Leeds and obviously from Brighton. Mm. And uh, yeah, I think the money's well worth it. He's versatile, he's quick, he's mobile, he's great on the ball. No, he stays at the club for five, ten years. It's great value. He did very well, didn't he? You know, obviously, when he was playing for, I think he, he really developed under Bielsa. Yeah, in the championship. That, that helped yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think he's, I think he's good, but I don't. I don't necessarily agree with how how kind the pair of you are being regarded. I don't you know. think Ben White's top tier. I think he does the job. I think he's top tier for an, plus the English tax. You know, no, for I fifty don't. million quid, you get someone that could be there. He's, he's dynamic, can play anywhere. You know, centre back, right what, back. Am I right? In, am I remember this correctly? The start of the season, it was party at right back, all right. <laughs> yeah, but that was I think to get more. Shouldn't you be worried when you buy a centre back and you play him at right back? No, I think was cir- I think that's circumstance. Right I being, I think, no, 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 no he's right. to be he's brought to be a centre half, but I think circumstance dictated that he ended up at right back, and he did a valiant job there. I I don't necessarily see him being as good as some Arsenal fans see him. I think he's I think he's fine. What does he lack? I don't think he's I don't a, a little bit of everything that, that I want yeah, from a bit a, aggression. Uh, yeah, a yeah. little bit of everything. I mean, I'm also probably hampered here. I don't particularly like him. <laughs> Yeah, if I'm yeah. being totally honest, I don't like his stupid hair and his silly little beard like David. That's like the girl from Benador. <laughs> <laughs> is that her with yeah. the, the old cat? woman? Do you know the other thing? Do you know the other thing <laughs> that I find really frustrating? This is just a personal thing, but you know when footballers live the dream and playing football for a living? You know when they start telling us that they don't want to be footballers yeah. or they don't particularly enjoy football, they don't watch football, they don't like football? I just think, shut up, wanker. Like, yeah. I, it, was, yeah. like, it reminded me, I'm pretty sure it was Ben Foster. I'm happily to be corrected if I'm wrong. But Ben Foster, when he left United, come out and was like, they take football mm. too seriously there. Yeah. yeah. I'm paraphrasing yeah, it what he said. Ben, yeah, you're, right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, what are you one about? Bro? So let's do Ben White. Should we just say top tier? The value, the longevity, the age profile. I am I'm I think does the job, but I'm happy because Arsenal fans love him. I think that's key to a sign in being a success. Yeah. I'm happy if you want to put him in a top tier. Yeah. I don't like him, so I'm going to say does the job, but you're probably right. But you are. he is outvoted by that point, so maybe we should put him in does the job. No, I think he's right. I'm, I'm being, I'm we being just won the election. I'm being juvenile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop the count. <laughs> um, up next, Aaron Ramsdale. Now, for me, the jury's still out on this fella. Surely, 
Um, I'm afraid it's a big mistake uh, by that. When a keeper's think, gone, a keeper's gone. Saying his head's gone. You no, can't when call a keeper's it a mistake. Gone, no, you, he's gone forever. I think bang on. Once a keeper, it's very rare. You know, sort when of the way set forward. When a gone bad, she's gone forever. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. You'll never be a world class keeper. And look, there's two versions of Arsenal Football Club. It's the, the kind of social media FC where we're kind of printing banana banana uh, kits every week and doing PR releases, fair enough. Or it's the Arsenal that I remember when I was a kid where all my mates were Arsenal fans and they were saying how big they were as a club. They tried to roll a penalty against Man City, the big old Arsenal Highbury. He's not an Arsenal keeper. I, I actually, I, is being, I, in amongst in amongst the diatribe, that was <laughs> in amongst all of that. In amongst all of that, he's right. He kind of, he's right. Whilst I agree, and I think you're right, is it unfair to kind of go? He's not world class, therefore he's a failure. No, because not it's not only, only about being world class. Thirty million quid on him. It's not only about him being world class. It's about it's about everything about Ramsdale. Now, look, two years ago, I thought he was immense in the Premier League. I really did. I thought he was truly brilliant. Last year, I think he had a very good season. An excellent season, in fact. It's gone so wrong. If I was having this conversation 12 months ago, I would 100% say that he is top tier. You know, captain of the top tier, potentially. Like, absolute brilliant signing. Got it so right. Against the odds as well. Everybody laughed. Arteta was right. Everybody said that it was a waste of money. Arteta was right. Everybody said he'd been relegated, relegated, relegated. Arteta was right. Now I'm not sure, man. I, I just can't believe how it's changed for him. I can't believe the the way that he conducts himself in PR. The way that Ian Wright looked at him in that interview will haunt me. It's a, it's a meme, isn't it? You could put that. You could put Wright's face there for anything. You could put Nuno Tavares' recent clip and put Wright's face there. It's appropriate. Ian Wright it's looked more baffled. confused than when his old teacher walked into the stadium. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he took his hat off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you can't concentrate. Mate, it's an hour and a half. What are you on yeah. about? Do you know what his thing is? Yeah, well, there'll be a load of narratives, right? If he's good enough, his distribution, all these awards he might have won or whatever. Ultimately, he believed his own hype. But can I just too early in his career. Too. Not even 30 Why years old you, yet. Where, where are you putting him? Because he's a mistake. Okay. He's a mistake. That's I, I still I'm address an issue with their keeper. and push back. Yeah. Because I think his jury's out still. But Rory started by going, if this was last year, mm. if this was the year before, so doesn't he deserve Can I ask you a question? Have that? you ever seen a, a, a keeper at a top, top level club recover from the kind of poor form, a keeper? Oh, I agree. Once, I remember at City, Joe Hart lost it. Yeah. He lost it to uh, Willy Caballero. Check lost Never it. gone. Well, once you're gone, you're gone as a keeper. Yeah. So Check Arsenal lost signed, it. A, they spent a load of money on a keeper to win the league. I David De Gea recover when he was, came in young. But he didn't never, recover. To, never he, well not to the level to win you the league no, and no, be no, the no. top, top level keeper. You I'm about when he came in at the start and he was a bit shaky and he recovered and he became the best keeper in the league. But that's still you developing. He was yeah, never, that's, that's different, different circumstances. Yeah. 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 Ramsdale well, was never the best in the in the league. He never gave himself the room to do but it. But does his signing, because his signing has got Arsenal into being a champion. What What did they sign him for? They signed him to win the league. Do you know what I mean? Hang on, that's a good point. What? So. As much as I believe that he isn't the keeper for the future, and I think his conduct lately has left me baffled, it can't be a mistake because through him, they had two very successful seasons. They made it into the Champions League. They're playing in the Champions League this season. They're in the last 16 because of the form that Ramsdale displayed last season. He cost them points against Southampton, the only side they couldn't beat oh, home and he... away in the league. The, the, the side won the worst side we've ever seen in the Premier League. He gave the ball away within 10 seconds Who's at home. Who before Ramsdale? Leno. Leno. Leno's a better keeper. Well, Mar Mar Martinez is definitely a Martinez player. is better. Mm. You know, Leno's Arsenal, not a better keeper. Arsenal signed David Seaman in the early 90s and he went on to win the league. I just don't he, think he's a, a good enough mistake. keeper. 25 million quid. I just don't think he's a big man. Costs a lot of money. It's, no, no, it's not. It was about 25. No, no, it's not a lot of money, no, it's no, not no, money. It's not a lot of money anymore. <laughs> You know. the, the thing is, Boo, I, I think, think, I think the Ramsdale. Simply, okay, here's, here's just to understand. You know, if it goes wrong at the end, it doesn't make it a mistake if there's been some good times along the way. Or does it? Well, as we're sat here right now, he's not even first choice. They spent a load of money on to getting a title-winning keeper. That's the goal for Arsenal, to mm. get back to winning the title. He's not good enough to win them the title. No, he no, lost them the title last season. But you know if you have some what good, good times? Time? You know if you have some good time signings time. on that? Because when he was brought in, they, they wanted dreaming. top four. Yeah. They wanted the Champions League. They wanted to get if, back to... If you have good times along the way, I don't think it necessarily means that it's a failure. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. And he I, has had some good times Maybe I hold him to two higher standards. He has had some good times along the way. But what he isn't anymore is top tier. The jury's out. Is that fair? No, it's not jury's not out. Because we know him. We know, jury's no, but the out jury's suggest... still out with Arteta. He doesn't even know no, who his best keeper but is. He, he, Arteta can be a manager for the next 30 years. He might win the Champions League in his final 10 years as a manager. We don't but know that. What I'm but saying is, Ramsdale's gone. No, but what I'm saying is Arteta mm. don't even know 
what to do. But that, that's the, that's, he does. That's, that's he, the jury's he does. Now, he does no, know what to do. He's dropped him. Or it suggests that Arteta's management isn't isn't up to scratch <laughs> on this particular <laughs> debate. Have you, okay, the debate's well, over. Where do you want raise the new one? What are the three categories we have again? Four categories. Sorry. Um, big waste of money. Jury's out. Does the job. Perfect signing. Big mistake. I think he's a does the job. I think he's jury's out. I don't think he's jury's out because we know who he is. Jury's out suggests that we're still learning about him. We're still unsure of him. People could say... I think it's more does the job than big mistake. But I think I still... Think Arsenal, Arsenal spent 25 million say, quid. Give him you a know he, sucked, he spent 35 million on Addison. He w- w- wins us the league the following season. You can't compare everything to City. <laughs> it's like when, you know, when people went, Calvin Phillips is a flop. Why isn't anyone criticising City? Because City are good and City are mm. a success. The signing's there. Of course, you don't it's, have it's, to judge it's, them. It's you not judge a fair different comparison. Way. Ramsdale... On this list, this is the crazy thing. As much as a lot of what you said is true, when you look down the list at all of Arteta's signings, Ramsdale's one of the success stories. He's one of the better ones. Maybe that's a damning indictment on where Arsenal are as a football club. If, if I'm sat there looking at Arsenal yeah, but, football club, uh, it's a historical hang, sense. It's like, but Booth, hang on, hang wow. on. It's not even my opinion here. Look, look at the list beyond Ramsdale. Look at what course, you've got yeah. coming up. Yeah, you've got the likes of. We're going to talk about Turner in a minute. We're going to talk about Kiwior in a minute. We're going to talk about Jorginho in a minute. Yeah, Jorginho's come from Chelsea. You know, Ramsdale came from a relegated. It's all relative to where they came from. It's all relative no, to the clubs, they, the tra- trajectories of their career. Jorginho's already <laughs> won the Champions League, and he, brought, he was brought in for experience. Ramsdale was brought in to be a prime keeper to get them over the line in big moments, and he hasn't done that yet. That's what I'm saying. He hasn't done that okay. yet. But he won the FA Cup with Leno. I think it's too harsh. It's a mistake for me. Where do you want to put him? I think he does the job. So I have the final design involved. I have to say, does the job. It's more does the job than big mistake, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Although I still think the jury's out. That's Arsenal fans, what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know. Uh, Tommy Asu, Don, he's, he's brought in for about £15 million. Pounds. I think, he's a, I think it, there is no more perfect definition of does the job for Arteta than Tommy Asu. Yeah, what about Fabio Vieira? The worst. He's had a mixed time though. Cause the worst. Points last season where they looked at him quite <laughs> positively. He had a few assists. <laughs> Didn't work <laughs> out. Didn't work out. <laughs> if he'd worked, they wouldn't have signed Jorginho. They, wouldn't have, Mate, they might not have signed a few other players. Mate, he has let them down. Fabio Vieira where you has him? at the bottom of the bottom, Waste. the lowest of the low, the pits. Matt Turner. The pits, Fabio Vieira. Matt they need rid of it. Do, do you know if I were to look at everybody at that club now and you go, what player do they need out of the club? Who do they need to get out so they can bring somebody in? The answer, Fabio Vieira. Matt Turner. He's the worst keeper joke, in the league. It? Who cares? Isn't he... Is, uh... Just a joke. Are we being mental here, though? Because he was brought in as a third-choice goalkeeper or something, right? He's rubbish. So he's has rubbish. He not done the job? No, but he's crap, man. You, are you in the goalkeeper you know, society? society? Because he is mental crap. Yeah, no, man. You no, have he's to mental take the context crap. of the He's the worst keeper in the league. Place. No, he, they didn't buy Matt Turner no, to no, be no. Ramsdale. But he is mental crap. <laughs> like, it's, it's not, is he, like, a little bit out of his depth? Or Like, you know when, you know when Chelsea's, like, third-choice keeper was um, Ross Turnbull? Yeah. It ain't like that. This geezer is an absolute... Joke. All right. Use that no more. You're very him. apologetic to keepers, man. No, but I'm just. Are you no, a no, secret no. keeper? I just think in these. Closet keeper. Like, goalie, you know? Like, what are you going to He's, he's a stick you in goal at the end of the season. No, no, he's weirdly good. We need a goalie at the end of the season. Really You're going to. We, 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 we played in a, in a, <laughs> we played in a poker tournament. Um, where, I can't remember where Ireland. we were. In Ireland. He went in goal. He's mad good. You no know way. We, we, we won. We beat all the pros in Ireland. And we won. I used to play on Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays, I'd play my usual position. On he's like the mean machine geezer. You know, the lunatic goal. in goal. <laughs> he is. Monk. Monk, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a nutter in goal. You know, just like um, flying around I've, on the floor. I've sometimes been compared to Jason Statham, actually. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I think you have to judge the signings by the context in what they were brought. If they were brought in as a third choice goalkeeper, you can't judge him by the same metrics as you would judge. But if the third choice is rubbish, he's rubbish. <laughs> all, right, all right. No, but... Uh, <laughs> you're right in your usual logic. You are right. If, if you're talking about every other player in the league who could be brought in as a third choice, you could be a bit kind to them. But this is mental. Uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. this is the worst goalkeeper. He's so bad, man. This is the worst goalkeeper I might have ever seen. Okay. That's fine. I didn't expect us to spend so much time on Matt Turner. Yeah. Uh, Gabriel Jesus. Because you're in love with him. I, I feel like this is so obvious, but you like, are going to give me a different. I answer. think it's so obvious. I think it's obvious as well. Can we all say it together. Success. That's a job. No. Top no, tier. Top tier. Top tier. Top tier. Success story. But Arsenal fans are crying out for a replacement right now. But Not for the same needs, reason. He needs compliment. He needs a guerra around him. He needs more. You know, Arsenal went out and they signed him. Then they went out, you know... Arsenal they signed him as a guerra. As their no, guerra. Maybe, he, maybe that was a mistake. If deal. they did do that... Look, I, I still think he's an excellent player. I really do. And he's a fantastic you, footballer. But he's I would just go so far as saying, and a lot of people would disagree with this, but I would go so far as saying that nobody in world football can do what Gabriel Jesus does as well as Gabriel Jesus does it. That very particular position, Boovy, you're looking at like I'm just trying to think of me. No, no, I'm just trying to think you're, of players. What, he, you I, categorize him as what a kind of clunky, no, high pressing no, striker. No. 
the no, latter part, to, the latter. I'm not trying to banter. I'm not clunky. No, clunky, clunky in the no. sense that he's a little bit Pressing. unorthodox. The, you know what I'm trying to say? In terms of in terms of leading the line, running the channels, playing with his back to goal, pressing the opposition. I think he is superb. I really mm. do. I think he's exquisite at what he does. Is he slightly wasteful in front of goal? Almost definitely. But at what he does, he's wicked. But look at Liverpool. They've got Jota, maybe similar a little bit, and then Nunes and, and Diaz and Gakpo and Salah. He needs three or four. So what He's you, got Nketiah behind him. So what would you say then? Say, say you were involved in Arsenal's decision-making policy here. You would say, bring in Ivan Tony and play two up front. Or bring in Ivan Tony and play Gabriel Jesus wide. Jesus left. Bring in Ivan Tony and right. Jesus to the bench where he was at City. You can't do that. He's That's too good happened. to... He's he, better than Martinelli. There's no way that no. he can sit on the He's bench. He's better than Martinelli on the left. You don't think? Off the left. Cutting in on his right. He was doing well last he season would, doing he, would give, he would give a lot Sorry, of options. Sorry, you buy a striker, you play him up front. Martin has got three goals a season. You no, saw so his Gabriel Jesus, isn't it? Yeah, he's, he's, been, he's been injured. But, but could, do you know what it would do, though? It would give Arteta the option to maybe rest Saka where necessary, rest Martinelli where necessary, rest point here, Tony point where I'm trying to make is we're talking about a guy that was brought in and lauded us, Arsenal finally have a number nine. And now we're going, Arsenal still need a number nine and they should play him on the left. That, to me, tells me... It tells me that you it didn't understand Gabriel Jesus when he signed. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, it, if you think that Gabriel Jesus is going to be Harlan, not even Harlan numbers, Kane numbers, not even that, yeah. Tony numbers, he isn't that. No. Nah. But he is. Not even Ali Watkins. He is undroppable from that starting team. I do believe that he is undroppable. I, I disagree. They're more I, dangerous I, I than Jesus disagree. on the left. They're opinion. more different. I think he does the job. There's almost zero teams in the Premier League that Gabriel Jesus doesn't get into, with the exception of Man City, where he didn't get in. Although, I he think starts I, United, so, it starts with I think, Chelsea. I think Pep Guardiola wanted Villa. to keep him. You know? I think Pep Guardiola yeah, wanted to just keep let him go to play. Granted, I, I think this is kind of like the Ramsdale thing, where you go, when he came in, he was a success. Yeah. Straight out of the blocks, turned Arsenal into top four team, whatever. Does Gabriel Jesus get in the Liverpool team? No. Ooh. I think he does. Yeah, but does. It's like saying, does Jota get in the... He doesn't always start. They, no. they, they have the rotation of I'm six just trying, people. Oh, no, no, he gets in ahead of who's the bottom player in the front what I'm trying, He's better than Gakpo. Nunes better than Gakpo. Over him. What I'm trying to establish is, Gabriel Jesus, I think, improves every single team in the country with the exception of the team he left. Yeah. With By that logic, it has to be a good signing for Arsenal because Arsenal have a player that would get into every other but team But no one here is saying it's a bad signing. No, top tier signing. He's though. top tier. By getting into every you other team. You get that kind of that, value in today's market. two years, if people are going... Has it been two years he's been there, sorry? 18 yeah, months. If yeah. after 18 months people are going, hmm, he misses a lot of chances, doesn't he? We need another striker and we need, to, let's go and spend 100 million on Ivan Tony. But that was the that case before me, he signed. That's not his fault. No, he didn't but solve they signed the problem. Him they needed him nine. and someone else. But they signed him as yeah, but they needed, they need, In modern football, you need, City have got ha uh, Haaland and Alvarez. Mm. Okay, how much did they pay for him? Uh, 50. Okay, that's reasonable. Cheap. It's less than Hoyland. I think he's a good player, man. I, I like, don't know. I, no, no, when no, I, when I, I say good, good wait, sorry, I didn't say that correctly. I think he is, on this list, one of the better signings and therefore top tier. I tend to agree with that, but I do think if you kind of look at the situation now, I think the situation, maybe because Arsenal have got much better as a team, but the situation's changed. But yeah, go on. Mm. Where you want yeah, yeah. Top tier. Top tier, man. Okay. Top tier, Gabriel Jesus. Um, I hope you don't disagree, man. Zinchenko, this, this little stinks, man. <laughs> I thought oh. he was really good and he's not. He's a, he's a, you know, we talk about luxury players like strikers or someone like a, a Meech who's a luxury player, for example. Like, I don't know why I said Meech, but you know, these creative. You always mention Meech, you know. Do I? Yeah, yeah. He's one of your go You know what I'm trying yeah. to say? Like, one of those luxury attacking players. He's a luxury defender. He's a good left back when you're winning 4 0 and you can put the ball around nice and cute. If you're 1 0 down at Anfield, mate, he's one of the worst in the whole division. <laughs> you're 1 0 down at Anfield. <laughs> I'd rather have the Wolves left back. Mike Nuri, he's much better. Yeah. So he's, uh, he's not. Do you know what I thought he was when Arteta signed him? I think Arteta might have thought that this is what he was signing as well. You know, sometimes you sign a player for the football, footballer that they are, but you can also sign a player because of who they are. Almost the man. Mm. You sign a winner. Mm. When Chelsea signed Mark Hughes from Manchester United, we were signing an excellent centre forward, weirdly a foot centre forward that's right. kind of overlooked a bit in terms of like great converse, great greatest Premier League players. Mark Hughes was fantastic. But what Chelsea also brought in was knowledge and know-how and fighting spirit and and total understanding of what it takes to win silverware, but also go to Anfield and win. Go to Old Trafford and win. We brought in Mark Hughes, who had that in abundance. We brought in Ruud Hullet, we had that in abundance. And therefore, Chelsea won trophies a couple of years later. A lot of them. Mm. Hullet comes in, Hughes comes in, Chelsea end their 25-year wait for trophies. Simple science, right? You bring in 
I thought Zinchenko was that. I thought Zinchenko was going to Arsenal, not only to be the left back, but to be the guy. This is how we win away from home in Europe. This is how we win away at Anfield. This is how we win away at Man City. Yeah. Geezer ain't got a clue. And then you remember he was playing at half time in something. Yeah. Yeah. He was playing alongside Vincent Company and, and Laporte and, you know, Rodri and Fernandinho around him. And now instead he's playing with, you know, Jorginho last season. He's not been a failure though, right? He was meant to be the guy. No, failure. He was meant to be the guy. The mo- they ain't won nothing since he's landed, right? <laughs> he was meant to take the understanding of how to win silverware with him. They're no better off. They're no cl- more clued up. Young team, right? They're no more clued up on how it's to win failure silverware. as well. And if anything, there's times where he loses his head when he should. He loses his head and he, he, he left to play in midfield. He said that explicitly. He's not good enough for the Arsenal midfield. So it has to be a failure. He's been shoved at left back true? like he was at City. Yeah, he left to play in midfield. No, no, but did Liverpool, sorry, did Arsenal sign him to play in midfield? Yeah, I remember people saying he was going to rotate with Granite Jack in that kind of uh-huh. left central midfield role and tuck in whenever and he's not good enough to play in midfield and he hasn't been. When he's popped into midfield, they've lost the ball a lot. I'm yeah. surprised by him. You know, I thought he's a much better player yeah, than, I than, yeah, but bottom rung. Uh, Leandro Trossard, I think this one is so clear as day. Does the job. Does the job. Came in yeah, last yeah. season when they needed to rest players. He was excellent for they them. They signed him on a bit of a Scored panic a as well. Goals. And cheap. Yeah. They signed him for it on a panic and he's better than the player that they didn't sign. Like mm. They signed him because they didn't get Mudrick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the whole thing. Do you remember? They, yeah. like, the whole thing was Chelsea have signed Mudrick. Chelsea have effectively stolen Mudrick from Arsenal. We've won. We've won. Unlucky Arsenal. We got lumbered with fucking Mudrick. <laughs> and they got a geezer that's good. Like, mm. he's not... I don't think Trossard is... I don't think he's exceptional. Groundbreaking, is he? No, no. But, I want. But he, I want more from him. He does a really good job. I think he's quite predictable. Yeah, like, he is. Cuts yeah. in every time. Yeah. Cuts in every single time. But overall, oh, put it this way, I'd swap in for Mudrick. Yeah, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Heartbeat. Yeah. Uh, Kirior. Um, he seems to come in and deputise when there's a few injuries That's or right, rotation. He does okay. I think he's a does the job fella, isn't it? Does the job. He's not, I never look at him. He's young as well. Yeah. Thank God Arsenal bringing him on because he's crap. You know what I mean? I never think that. Bad against Fulham the other week. Really bad at left mm. back. I enjoyed this. Play him out of position. But uh, Jorginho. <laughs> of course. Weird because he scored that goal against Villa. Remember that? Oh. He didn't score it. It was an own goal. goal. Emi Martinez. Cushion header. Yeah. It was a great shot it was, a wide, it was going wide. The shot went wide. The shot went wide. Technically, <laughs> it was off target. The shot went wide. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take you for that. I don't mind slagging off Jorginho. Um, no, he's crap, isn't he? But does he not do the job for them in the sense that he's a backup bid? Well, well, uh, the amount of times player. that he comes on and they capitulate. Really? Yeah. Soft, he was soft. What soft. I think it's a mistake. I'd rather they uh, they didn't sign him and were smarter in the summer following. Yeah, he's a little weakling. Is it too early to judge his signing? <laughs> He, he'll be out the door in the yeah, summer. Yeah, he can't be too early. He'll be leaving in the summer, yeah. He's nearly he's, gone. He's done nothing. He might slow, leave this he, window. He slowed down the Arsenal any, midfield. If they had any sense, he'd leave this window. <laughs> only be, he's unlikely to be yeah. there much more than 18 months. Yeah. So he's well and truly... He took a deal to keep his kids in school in London, in West London and all. Nah, he's a useless player. Yeah. Absolutely useless. Kai Havertz. He's, he's, he's him and Kai Havertz. Jorginho so and Kai Havertz. Mistake for Jorginho, yeah. Complete. Kai Havertz. I think, I think, I think the jury's still out here because he has done some very good things for them. What? He's also had some very big stings. Quantify that. Winner Last against Brentford. Winner. Um, he scored a few oh, goals Brentford, for them. I think man. he's close to double figures in goals. He's got a few assists. Brentford. I don't think he's a midfield Adam, player. Adam, do you know why, I, I, think, for a very you know good why I think... Brentford. I'm going to put something on the table to you both now. You don't have to accept it, but let me make the case. I th- I'm going to remove jury's out from your options because the jury isn't out you know loads about Kai Havertz you've got a huge amount of data to judge him on I don't think you can say the jury's out you know what he is you know what he's capable of you know who he is I think if you say jury's out you're really being cowardly like him does the job <laughs> fair play I'm taking it off the table bollocks who are you fair, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a big what, so, mistake seriously what do you guys think it's a mistake oh. isn't it? it's a mistake because Arsenal fans love him. Flop. They don't. Hello, people. I don't they want to love him. Half of them. They're do. desperate to love him. It's like us with Torres. He's a device. Us with Torres. We were desperate to love him. We so wanted it to work because of everything that had gone before it, because of what it meant, because of the Liverpool. Does rivalry. he not bring something that they don't have in terms of an aerial presence? Someone that can get aerial him presence. I'll be better in the head than him. He's a coward. <laughs> aerial presence, mate. He's a six foot three. Drip. Yeah. Drip. Yeah. Six foot three. Lanky streak of piss. Absolutely nothing to the man whatsoever. <laughs> like, I tell you, he, if there wasn't any starch in the oh, clothes that he wore, he would he would collapse. He ain't got a fucking spine. <laughs> nah. I agree. Spot on. Nah. Well, I'm outvoted. I tried Arsenal. Drip. 
Do you actually believe that, though? I think he's done the job for them. He's taken them backwards. And, yeah, and, and the there's job. a lump of 65 million quid he's in the bank account that's gone now. Granite Jacker was a, they were a better team with Granite Jacker in the team. Million percent. Julian Timber. Oh, it's very unlucky, this. I think this one started off as like, this is going to be top tier defo. And now, because he's been out, it's just Jury's out. He'll be back soon, though. Out. Unfair to judge. Yeah, can't judge Jury's out, but I think he'll be a top signing. It depends how that injury affects him, because it's a big one. Yeah, mm. it's, a big, it's, it's a big He relies on pace. You don't want to see players quick this, is, this is the perfect Jury's out, though, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Declan Rice obvious, isn't it? <laughs> De- Declan... Let's just talk about how good he has been for us. This is, this is, you talked about Odegaard being the best signing of the Arteta era. I guarantee you there's a chance Odegaard flops and he goes to Inter Milan on loan in the next couple of years or whatever. Honestly, Declan Rice will be a mainstay in that Arsenal side for the next five to ten years. The reason years. I didn't say Declan Rice was because... He's, Tony Adam, he's a Tony pounds. Adams type. When you buy a player for £100 million pounds plus, you're expecting... The f- I know we don't see that often these days, mm. but you are expecting the finished article. Right? I think and Declan Rice was kind of a tapping. You knew he was going to be. Yeah. yeah. But I, he has... You say that, you say he's been a tapping and you knew how good he was going to be. I think you're right on some level. But he, to be totally frank with you... Declan Rice has surprised me with how good he is. Mm-hmm. I, I knew he was a good player. There's no surprise. We've seen it. We, we saw how brilliant he was for England a fair few years ago now. We know that he can play at the highest level. We saw him win silverware last year. And the trajectory has been going like that. He's been, his consistency is improving. Everything was going well. All that considered, he is actually even better than I thought he would Way be. Way better. The goal he's, scoring, the finishing. He's, the, if he did a best Premier League 11 of this season... It's impossible. Anybody with a brain, anybody with any sort of semblance of sense <laughs> would put Declan Rice in that yeah, team. Yeah, and De Bruyne in midfield <laughs> instead of Bernardo who's a right winger. Do you know what I mean? Nobody yeah, in their yeah. right mind would ever dream <laughs> of leaving Declan Rice out of, an, I out love of a Declan Premier League Rice. 11. I loved it when he scored against you at Sanford Bridge. That was, that was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that well, round the keeper. Because he, he seemed destined for Chelsea at a point. He seemed destined for Chelsea. I mean, in the end, he turned City down, didn't he? I think Declan Rice, I, I love the idea of him coming to Chelsea. Obviously, there was a time when that could have happened. He was our player when, when he was very young. Uh, his friendship with Mason Mount, at one point, it looked like reuniting those two made nothing nothing but sense. It's a real shame that we didn't persevere with him when he was a kid. I think somebody should lose their job. You know, if whoever allowed him to leave has obviously made a massive error. Um, in in parallel universe, Booth, are you, are you gutted? You know, when you think about the problems that you've had at various points this season, I know it's looking good now, but you know, earlier in the season, course, you were losing yeah, yeah. games. Rodri was suspended. You didn't win without him. Yeah. It looked like Declan Rice was going to sign for you. Yeah, yeah. Do you see that as a missed opportunity? No, obviously, you must. obviously City could sign any any player, and you could hold on to everyone: Leroy Sane and Mares and Gundogan. <laughs> Declan Rice wants to stay in London. I like the fact that he's at a big club and he can play every minute. Imagine when he come to City and he's being rotated and he was maybe Not a left rotated. back one day. There, there's a world, mate. Pep did it with Zlatan know, at Barcelona. Know, do you know what I mean? So he, it could have happened. That's because he didn't like the style. And, of and it would have ruined Declan. him for England. I think he would too. But there's a world he plays him in a double pivot. Injured, you wouldn't have missed Rodri. Well, uh, and and a booking as well. But there's a world that Guardiola doesn't utilize him in the same way. Mm. And the fact he's a big fish in a smaller pond. Declan Rice is is a (laughs) fish in a smaller pond. That's that's. I'm not saying a smaller pond. Smaller pond (laughs) in terms of what they can achieve on the pitch this Um, season. And finally, David Raya, where would you put him? Jury's out for me. Yeah, I agree with Booth. I f- it kind of, it's kind of tied into the Aaron Ramsdale one, isn't it? I think you've, both been, really, well, so you've I think both been really nice. He's on loan. Hang on. Signing David Raya is one of the... Do you think he's had a knock-on effect on Ramsdale? I think, if, think if you try and find the genesis of certain problems that Arsenal have had this season, I think you could pinpoint it if the signing is David Raya. They cause nothing but problem for their back line, nothing but problem for their goalkeeping conversation, nothing but problems for their fans. The fans are all divided about David Raya. You can't see David Raya do something without immediately thinking of Ramsdale. If Ramsdale does something, you immediately think of Raya. Would Raya have saved? It's caused nothing but grief. For what? How much better? It's, even this, even this if it's gone now. Is I think now it's gone. Is Ramsdale's fault? Like, isn't it a manager's prerogative to have a healthy squad and bring in players to keep his squad at a top level. Yeah. And if your players can't handle that competition, that's their fault, right? It's not yeah. the manager's fault. And if the, the media... The, the reason why it's the manager's fault, the, re- the reason yeah. why it's the manager's fault is because there isn't really a distinction between David Raya versus Aaron Who's Ramsdale. The, I would have thought the there was between. before. Who, who you know when a, you know when a top level man was better than Ramsdale. Yeah, before he was. Yeah, he was fantastic. I, Ramsdale, I, didn't, I didn't think he was last season. He, yeah. No, that, I thought, I, I've, I've, I've never rated Ramsdale. Well, okay, I think opinion, maybe so. the, maybe this demonstrates the problem with the signing. Yeah, because you thought that that Raya was a better, and you thought it was a good yeah. signing. I thought that Ramsdale was a better player, and therefore why are they signing? Yeah, and that's fair. So enough. the fact that it's you and I disagree, but fairly passionately as well. I think if you would ask me at the time, I'd have gone. Raya won't get in that team. Ramsdale's undroppable. 
it caused problems. But at Brentford, what Rare did at Brentford was superb. Kept them in the league, was one of their star players alongside Ericsson and Tony. At, if Ramsdale was at Brentford, they would have struggled. They would have been worse. And we've, we've got proof of that at Bournemouth and at Sheffield I United. I don't know if that's... He's already been in the Premier League, been relegated out of the league like, as a keeper. I feel like it's a bit unfair to compare what he would do at Brentford to what he would do at Sheffield United. And also, and he, he was playing at a higher level. Yeah, he was yeah, playing at a higher level succeeding. The, yeah. the, the debate has gone under the radar. That's what I'd say. This narrative of watching Ramsdale clap in and all that, that happened months ago now. The that, last few games, Rea yeah. has been decent. Overall, I think David Rea is going to work out. He will become the number one. Aaron Ramsdale will leave and I think it will all be fine. But as a signing, I think it's something that you could say is a mistake from Mikel Arteta. You could argue as well. It's not... The timing of the mistake. It's not yeah, a big timing, enough yeah, improvement timing. to cause that... Exactly. You know, the, yeah, sign, the sign, disruption. Sign Allison and let Ramsdale go nuts. Yeah, 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 yeah do what he wants. <laughs> but... You sign in a keeper that he's not even necessarily better than. Yeah, yeah. To, to upset the apple cart for what? And Aaron Ramsdale would definitely go, I'm better than him. Of course. You know, like if it's... No, no, if you're Alistair the guy... Or somebody, yeah. It's like, Aaron goes, okay, I get it. Yeah. No, exactly. exactly. <laughs> no, you can't understand it. It's like, why have you put... Yeah. Do you think it's a mistake? I think it's a mistake. I, 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 I think it's a mistake that. now. I think it could go on to be a successful okay. player, a successful signing, but we're judging it on today. I'll do juries out then for that. Okay, I, can, like I, can live with juries. I can live with juries out. Yeah. 